Oh, hi, I'm Dr. Lee. I'd like to spend a couple minutes of your time discussing a dangerous trend growing among college students. Of course, I'm talking about mixing energy drinks with alcohol. A recent John Hopkins University survey conducted found that 27% of college students reported mixing alcohol and energy drinks within the last month. College students are generally tired and look for extra boost that energy drinks can provide. Energy drinks are marketed to the demographic of both young adults and college students primarily. Mixing the alcohol and the energy drinks allows college students to think that they have a longer energy boost in order to go out and have a fun night of partying. The following may remind you of Friday night you or someone you know may have recently experienced. A couple of pals are getting ready to go out, but one in particular, Todd, is tired after a long week of studying. What's up, dude? What are you doing right now? No, uh, I'm tired. I'm not feeling so good. I think I'm gonna take the night off. Guy, look what's in my hands right now. Monster Bacardi. What are you thinking? I get. I, it just doesn't seem like a great idea. Dude, it's 8:27. That's the hour of the booze. We gotta go. Get jacked up. Let's do it. All right. It's I, time. Uh, all right. Fine. Woo! Fine. The main active ingredient in energy drinks is caffeine a powerful stimulant that can be dangerous in high doses such as those found in energy drinks. The FDA regulates the amount of caffeine that is allowed in drinks and they limit the dose to 71 milligrams per 12 ounce can of soft drink. But since energy drinks are considered supplements and are not under FDA supervision, manufacturers are not required to heed this limit and some drinks have as much as 300 milligrams of caffeine per serving. Yeah! Pickle party! Right. Don't forget about me, boys! <laughs> Dude! This is awesome! Sick is Brian Hammer! What? Dude! This energy drink and recording is awesome! Choose a 10 on the road, baby! Dude, I used to be such a lightweight, I'm not even feeling them tonight! No! <laughs> Alright. <laughs> This amount of caffeine alone, never mind what is combined with a depressant like alcohol, can do harm to a person's body. Caffeine intoxication can result in the symptoms of nervousness, anxiety, GI upset, tremors, and tachycardia. This could possibly lead to serious cardiovascular problems in certain individuals. Another active ingredient, guarana, contains additional caffeine and stimulatory properties and can only worsen the effects of the caffeine. The third active ingredient, Alcohol is a strong depressant that can, can be combined separate with an energy drink or can be found in alcoholic energy drinks such as Sparks. Todd does not realize this, and I think he'll be in for quite a surprise. Yo, man, yo, I, got, I gotta go home. My chest, it's like it's exploding or something. Oh, dude, you gotta stay. This party's wicked pissing. Nah, no, nah, I'm going back to the place. I'll see you tomorrow morning, all right? Oh, come on, man. Oh, chest. Hey, the short-term effect is that the stimulants and energy drinks can mask the symptoms of alcohol intoxication. A person may feel less drunk than they actually are. Also, this can be dangerous because a person may drink more alcohol than what their body can safely handle. A Wake Forest University study showed higher rates of sexual assault, bodily injury, alcohol intoxication, and drunk driving among students that use energy drinks with alcohol. Some long-term effects include alcoholism, cardiac arrhythmias, and hypertension. Young Todd never made it home that night. The chest pain he was experiencing was due to cardiac arrhythmias. Jimbo, on the other hand, perception was altered by the energy drinks and alcohol. Good morning, big guy. No! <laughs>